Hey Matryoshkas, here's the thing about infamous Russian winter. It is not the worst part of the year. It's actually not that bad. So I got sick. I felt bad for about four days straight. I hate it. I hate it. And surprisingly, the weirdest part is that the worst illness you could get is not during the infamous Russian winter. Yes, it's cold. But the worst thing usually happens during the seasonal shift, mid-season, like spring and fall. And these are the parts of the year that I hate. Because temperature usually gets milder and humidity rises. And these are the perfect conditions for bacteria and viruses. So if you happen to get outside in contact with other people, it's almost inevitable that you catch some kind of influenza. And there are like tons of myriads of different flu viruses. So um, getting vaxxed won't help. That's the saddest part. So the thing is, it's only today that I finally felt better. So here I am, looking back at you, recording this video, and I'm... That's really awesome. Look at my cool outfit. It's my personal favorite, the flu suit. All those friggin' viral influenza strains, I hate them. I hate them. When it comes to spring and fall, these are really the worst times of the year because there's just these huge epidemics spreading everywhere. These are the most contagious seasons. Winter, winter is okay. It's really cold. It's like freezing to death cold. But thanks to that, it lowers the humidity and so it kills the contagious bacteria and viruses and hinders their spreading. Summer is good too, okay? Because like hot temperatures usually dehumidify the air, so it gets better too. No bacteria, viruses. Well, there always are, but not to the extent of epidemics. There's like a pandemia every friggin' spring and fall. Horrendous. Incredible. Hate it. Hate it. Really, really do. I hate being ill. It's like you kill a few days of your life. Like, totally. Your biological resources go into this fighting mode so all your biological resources are aimed at your immune system it's like the top priority so everything else just shuts down you become dumb slow dizzy and immobile basically you're you're you're, you're a seal or a puddle just Laying down there and meh. awful, disgusting, disgusting. I mean, disgusting when it happens to you, when you realize that you yourself are so weak and pathetic. Uh, so I keep binge watching English language videos, TV shows, mainly YouTube. Sometimes I switch to movies, and I think it really helps. Well, it's up to you to judge uh, if my speech gets better and uh, more smooth and understandable. I hope the difference is noticeable. I really do. And now I'm actually thinking about books. I think that will bring me to a whole new level of uh, language ability, but I'm not really sure if that level is needed actually so what do you think what are your thoughts on that and why i'm actually asking is because there's actually a possible downside to that because acquiring literary kind of bookish vocab seems to complicate the communication 
because then you tend to use those two specific and rare words that not many people use in the day-to-day -day communication, in a daily life. And so, is there a point to do so? And if there actually is, and you'd recommend me to start reading books, I'd love to hear your personal recommendations from your point of view as a native speaker. That would be just awesome. I've always wanted to read Mark Twain in English, but it seems to me that I could be maybe out of age to do that. And I should consider maybe something more serious, some philosophical stuff, possibly. Charles Sanders Pierce, perhaps, or John Dewey. Anyways, I'd love to read your take on that. Really glad to see you again. And don't forget all that feedback stuff like thumbs up and subscription because it helps algorithm and num num num. Well, you know. And see you tomorrow. Yes, you heard me well. Tomorrow. I'm trying to notch it up a bit and push my limits a bit and see what I can get out of this. So, we'll be seeing each other more often now. Here's some good news. Haha. <laughs> Alrighty then. Bye. <laughs>